17th of January 2013 will no longer be ordinary but glamorous forever. Today, our respected Sir S.Y. will be the first Chinese to receive the James Watt International Gold Medal, the top and the most prestigious award of Institution of Mechanical Engineers from the second lady president, Professor Isabel Pollock. Prior to the start of the Scala event, when the medal will be presented, we are pleased and honored to have Sir S.Y. here and share with us a few words. So S.Y., uh, thank you for offering your precious time and congratulations on you being awarded this medal. Thank you. Would you please first of all share with us how do you feel? I feel very great. I mean, uh, I never expect this kind of honor. So it's a very pleasant surprise for me. Well, being the first Chinese mechanical engineer to receive the James Watt International Gold Medal. What does this medal mean to you? Well, I think this means that probably I have to put Hong Kong and China on the world map of international mechanical engineers. And I feel very proud of that kind of uh, uh, situation. I know that, sir, that's why in 1948, <coughs> you were awarded a British Council Scholarship to study postgraduate in Sheffield, UK, when one out of your 10 research papers uh, was awarded the prestigious Wittsworth Prize of IMEC-E in 1952. And then in 1983, you were conferred an honorary fellow of the institution. You have stayed with and have been a devoted member of IMEC-E for many decades. What's, your, what's, the, what's the draw of it? Well, I mean, the IMAC E is very famous in the world. When I was the undergraduate at the Hong Kong University, and uh, we always hope that one day we'll become a member of the institution. And uh, when I was in UK doing my research and published the papers, I was very fortunate that I, as you said, got the Midworth Prize, I mean, in my young age there at that time. And since then, I have been uh, connected with IMAG for the donkey years. And, uh, and I think it's a mutual benefit. And uh, I think we will help IMAG to expand their membership, not only within UK, but around the world. On the other hand, that uh, the individual places in the world have the advantage uh, to do to, 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 uh, li liaison with the IMAG to, to uh, improve their uh, situation, their stand status. So I think it's a mutual benefit arrangement. And uh, I'm very happy that I have this 40 or 50 years association with the institution. So, so that's why. What are you proud of the most? Well, <laughs> There are many things nowadays, I mean, uh, each one has its own millets. I think that uh, one of the most important things for me in getting this award is to have the opportunity to associate myself with the great and mechanical engineers in the world. And uh, like Henry, Henry Ford in America, uh, Sir Ricardo in UK, and uh, uh, Toyota, uh, in, in Japan. Well, I think this is a great honor for me. So lastly, would you please to give us a final remark? Well, I, I think that the Hong Kong plant has done very well indeed. I remember in my earlier days, we had only about less than uh, a dozen members. Now we have a large number of members. And I want to congratulate those officers of the branch for their very uh, excellent effort in expanding Hong Kong's branch in the same instance to uh, expand the uh, relationship with the uh, institution in London.